Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, September 19th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, doesn't, as this is a general reading. Also keep in mind that these readings are timeless. So just because it is dated for the 13th, not, not the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> not the 13th, the 19th of September. It doesn't mean it has to resonate on that day. It can resonate for you at any moment, really. Um, actually, a trend that I've noticed is often these readings will, the messages that come through will resonate maybe like a few days later. Often I'm what I'm channeling or what I'm going through is a lot of what the collective or whom I'm channeling for is going through. And that may not always happen right at this time. You know, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. OK, so we all go through these things at different moments. But for those of us that are collect connected in this collective, this part of the collective or whomever I'm channeling for at any given moment, um, you could be going through this now. You could have just come out of this or you could be going through this, we'll say a few days from now. Okay. So just, just keep an open mind as to the fluidity of the messages here. If it doesn't resonate right away, then maybe check back later or keep an eye out. Maybe it will resonate later on. Okay. All right. So let's get into the pre-shuffle energies. Now Saturn has gone direct. It went direct yesterday, September 18th. And the first card that came out here is judgment. But it's the side of the card in which we just see the individuals that were, we'll say, that were resurrected, right? On this side, we have the angel appearing be before the people and, you know, blowing the horn, blah, blah, blah. Here we just have the people. But with this hawk, this looks like a hawk in flying through the sun. It could be an eagle, too. Um, I think it's a hawk. Although, however, in the overall energy, we do have the lovers. <laughs> Okay, and we also have the Eight of Swords in which we have, this is an eagle. We have an eagle here, but I feel like this, this looks like a hawk, okay? Um, either way, these are birds of prey. They are um, majestic birds. They symbolize freedom. They also, especially the hawk, symbolizes um, being able to see the bigger picture, you know, being able to, you know, see to, to pinpoint something from a higher perspective um, and, and and dive in and catch it and, and you know, dive and hone in on it and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, freedom, strength, uh, all that kind of stuff. But with Saturn having gone direct here um, and judgment coming out uh, as the first card in, in, of this pre-shuffle energy here, but it's the side of the card in which we see just the individuals, the man, the woman, and the child that have been resurrected or been, been, been refreshed, renewed. Um, this is about a time of now starting to get into action. There isn't, you may not necessarily, you know, be taking action right now, but now is the time to do so, okay? Now is the time to start like basically getting up. It's funny because I was listening to Aluna Ash yesterday, her energetic, her energy update. And she was saying that with Saturn going direct, this is like the time where, you know, you're getting up and you're, you're, you're getting ready to, to, for work or for school. You know, you, you've showered, you, maybe you've had your breakfast, you've packed your lunch, and yet you're not really quite moving yet. Okay, you may not even feel like you really want to move yet. So that's why I'm saying there may not really be much incentive, okay, to get to, to actually take action. Um, and that's actually kind of what I'm seeing here with the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. This is still pretty contemplative, both with these being nighttime scenes, but also with the Six of Cups here. It's this side of the card, because on this side of the card, we see we have these two individuals that have met um, that are having, that are sharing the soulmate bond or maybe having a little bit of fun getting wrapped up or lost in a love affair maybe. And then we have this side of the card in which Papa Dukes is like, yo, it's time to come home. Like this side of the card talks about, um, you know, disconnecting from something for a while and getting back down to earth and like getting back to your life and, you know, having spent all day in this like fanciful uh, lovey dovey place, maybe whatever, what not, whatever, having to come, basically having to come back to reality. Um, but, but this is, this is feeling almost like a checkpoint. Like it's like, okay, 
we've woken up from this slumber or we've got this, you know, we've gone through this period of, um, especially with Saturn being retrograde for like, what, six months, five months? We've gone through this period of learning lessons and taking and, and whatnot, whatever, and, and clearing karma. And now it's kind of time to settle back, come back home, reset, um, especially with the Six of Pentacles here. This uh, Both of these feel very contemplative. It's like you're coming back home to now start to put together the, uh, the plan or the plan of action as to what you have been called to do here. Judgment. Okay, with the lovers and the eight of swords as the overall energy right now in this pre shuffle, um, there is a union of sorts. Okay, there is releasing yourself from some sort of chains that have held you back, and it's getting into a true sense of authenticity with the lovers and with judgment. It's getting back to I don't know what you, if you want to call it mission work or getting back to what truly is calling to you, what it is you truly want to do. Um, I'm picking up that for some of you, you got some inspiration lately as to a new direction that you want to move in or um, a, a new creative project that you may want to embark on. You may be trying to expand or extend some sort of creative services or public services or spiritual services, whatnot, whatever. But there is a calling that you are answering and it is required. It has required, in order for you to answer this, it has required you breaking free of some sort of chains, eight of swords, some sort of constriction, um, mental conformity, physical conformity of that sorts, breaking free of that, soaring fly, so soaring fly, soaring high like an eagle, um, free and powerful, strong, with clear vision, yes, and bringing yourself into a greater sense of union or balance so that you can answer this call, okay? Yeah, what I'm picking up here with, between the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups with judgment, it's like you're being called home in order to assess and figure out, okay, how do I give back to the community? Or how do I expand my services? Or how do I make my life more reciprocal? Or how do I be more reciprocal in my relationships? This could be anything. This really could be anything, okay? But it's really about giving back, um, giving, and, giving and receiving in some sort of physical way. This could be money, this could be, this could be a job, this could be some sort of service. Yeah, it really does feel like you're being called home or we're being called back to our safe space, our sanctuary, so that we can really get in alignment with what it is we're looking to move forward with now that Saturn has gone direct. Yes? All right, guys. Awesome. So with that said, let me just do a clearing shuffle, a reset shuffle here, and then we're going to get into the rest of the reading. Whoops. Oh, look at that. Okay, uh, the Page of Cups has flown out. We have the High Priestess and we have the um, the Queen of Wands. So, oh, with strength underneath the, no, yeah, with strength underneath the Queen of Wands. Okay, but uh, but you're facing the devil in strength here. There's definitely, um, a, this, is, this is a restful period in which you know, there are some unknown things that are coming forward for you or there are some no unknown elements to your life right now. But this is really about sitting with yourself, sitting in confidence or sitting in meditation, maybe in nature and dreaming, allowing yourself to dream. OK, because it's that dreaming that's going to bring forward the next phase, the next step, whatever it is you're manifesting, whatever it is you're being called to do. It's unknown. It's hidden right now. And because of that, the devil is kind of trying, maybe successfully for some of you, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fall back and say trying to have a field day with this, with this unknown element that, you, that you're dealing with right now because you are being called in a new direction. Okay. Queen of Wands, Page of Cups. Yes. Allow yourself to dream through this. Allow yourself to just flow with the high priestess energy. Don't even waste any of your focus, your time, or your attention trying to fight this devil energy that's trying to pull you off your path, that's trying to pull you out of your self-confidence, that's trying to pull you out of your knowing. 
of what your situation is or at least where who you know yourself to be at this moment. There is a deep sense of having a greater sense of, uh, of knowledge of self here with the Queen of Wands, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know what exactly that's going to lead to. That's fine. The, the High Priestess is like, it's okay, don't worry about that. Just keep your eye on the prize or keep your eye on me, okay? Don't listen to this devil energy that's trying to tear you down, okay? This is the strength card. But on this side of the deck, you're facing the devil and you're having to just face your fear. And that fear is of the unknown right now. Okay. Oh, goodness. But there you, there you go. Look, the Ten of Cups is coming. Look at just look. You do have the Four of Cups with the Page of Cups again. I don't think this Four of Cups really is relevant here. I mean, other than the fact that, you know, it's the side of the card where the ship has sailed and you may very well be that ship that has sailed, that's left a disappointment, unrequited love, whatnot, whatever. You've left all that behind. Now that, that, that mm, okay, I'm feeling compelled to say just because someone has left some sort of heartbreak, regret, unrequited love, missed opportunity, boredom behind, it doesn't mean that they are gone completely. It just, what this feels like here is you've just, you're leaving these elements, these disappointment, disappointing elements behind you, okay? You're moving towards your 10 of cups. And you see how there's so much, there's a lot of nighttime that's coming out here. All right, this is still in dream state. This is still, you're still kind of dreaming about this. You're still kind of, you know, allowing it to manifest. It still hasn't quite been realized just yet, but you are absolutely on the right path. And that really could be why the devil energy is trying to pull you off of that, is trying to make you, trying to push you into a, a, a mind space of disbelief to, to kind of knock you off your knock you out of your momentum stay in that momentum with the queen of wands energy trust in the universe with the high priestess trust in the unknown she knows what's going on here she knows that what is manifesting for you is for your highest good just because you cannot see it doesn't mean it's not real doesn't mean that it's not exist it doesn't mean that it's not coming all right stay in that queen of wands energy stay in your meditative state um stay in your dreamer energy all right, keep your mind calm, keep your ego calm, yes? That devil energy actually could be your ego. That's flaring. All right. And just because it came out as the queen of wands, it doesn't mean that it's, it's specifically for feminine energies or for women. It's, it's for everyone. It came out as the queen of wands because the queen of wands is the magnetic, is the, yes, is the feminine, but the feminine represents receptive energy. And right now, this is a time to just really tune in and be in that receptive mode, okay? And allow the universe to bring it towards you. But you have to keep your mind set on it. You have to keep your thoughts set on it. You can't allow yourself to slip out of that and slip into doubt or fear, which is what that devil energy is trying to do, okay? Alrighty, kids. Let's see what else we've got here for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, September 19th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Five shuffles. All right. So, what is it that you want to speak with us about today, Spirit? Um, the Hanged Man with the Ten of Cups just caught my eye. And it seems that for many of you, what it truly is your Ten of Cups, this is number three, has changed. Your truest representation of the Ten of Cups has changed. And it could be your ego that's flaring, that's saying, you can't change that now. We've been working so hard towards this X, Y, and Z. Why are you going to go and change that now? You can't do that. Yeah, I can actually. Four. 
And that is because you're coming into a greater alignment with yourself. The lover's card that came out in as the pre-shuffle, the overall energy of the pre-shuffle. You're in a greater alignment with yourself and you're breaking free of some sort of confinement, some sort of chains with the Eight of Swords energy as well. And because of that, you're getting, you are much clearer on what it is that you want, or you have a greater idea of what it is that you want, or what it is that you want has actually changed now that you're getting back to the core of who you are. Two more shuffles here. Four. And a five. All right, kids. So, let's see. What would you like to discuss with us today, spirit? Okay. Cool. Uh -huh. Overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. And. Ooh, the Two of Swords. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow, we only have two cards here. We have the Two of Pentacles and we have Judgment again. But now it's the side of Judgment in which the Angel is before us. And we're making. Okay. All right, so what I'm seeing this as now with this side of judgment that has, with judgment that has come back out, but this side of it that's now come out, is now this is you having a conversation with the universe, uh, with the angels, with your guides, with source, with God, with your higher self, whatnot, whatever. Whomever is putting forward this call for you, you are having a bit of a dialogue with them trying to figure out the best way to move here. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, because with the Two of Swords, you're not quite sure how to move forward. And things may still be pretty stormy around you. Okay? So for those of you that don't haven't quite understood what has been going on for you lately, um, whether you are just now tuning in to like these morning coffee messages in which we've talking we've been talking about this or you have been tuning in and been listening to the messages i want to say over the last 2 weeks but still quite haven't understood what was going on for you this is a time this is a period of basically taking stock okay two of pentacles this is you i this is you basically Keeping the balance of your life, going through the mundane, uh, the mundane things of your life, um, you know, going to work, uh, I don't know, making sure you eat, going to the gym, blah, 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 doing your, basically, this is like the autopilot stuff, okay? Um, it's like your conscious mind has kind of been on autopilot, but your subconscious, or your ego also, but your subconscious has been here judgment with the seven of pentacles okay speaking with the universe conversing with the universe conversing with the angels conversing with your higher self god source creator uh your soul your spirit guide your ancestors whatnot whatever in order to figure out what the next steps are the the next uh, mm, i want to say the next action steps are okay Because also with this Two of Pentacles, I'm seeing this. You see that ship in the background? It's like, it's similar to the Four of Cups energy that came out here. But what I'm feeling here is like the ship is coming in. All right. And it's like you're almost preparing for that ship to come in for you to then embark on a brand new journey. Some of you actually may be thinking about traveling somehow. And like you're getting, you're, you're getting things together, you're getting things in order, you're getting things in line for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
so let's get some let's move to the clarification that was really that was really short really quick but let's get into the clarification now uh, and i'm going to use the golden universal tarot because i want to get this directly from spirit i want what i want what spirit has to say uh, about this about this conversation you guys are having What is this conversation you're having with spirit right now? I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got here. What is this conversation that you are having with spirit right now? What do you have to say about this spirit? Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Again, wow, there's more, okay. Okay, well, we're gonna start here. We're gonna start here. Seven of Pentacles with the tower. So, um, a lot is changing. And Spirit did just say that this is an ongoing process, you guys, all right? So don't, <laughs> Don't be so surprised every time the tower comes up because this is going to happen multiple, multiple times, multiple times within existence because part of, ex part of the meaning of existence, part of the meaning of life is to learn, to grow, and to expand. And any time you reach a period in which you're, 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 you're assessing the contrast, you are... Um, you, you're in a harvest period, you could say, with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, every time you reach this, this is like that checkpoint where you where you assess. You're like, okay, what it is? What is it? Do I really want? And has the process I've been going through up until this point been bringing me what I want? Yes or no? Okay, and then you continue questioning from there. Um, if it's no, it's like, okay, well, how do I adjust my process to get what it is that I want? If it's yes, it's like, okay, let's keep going. Or how do I continue this and even build on it and make it better? If you're not getting what you want, well, then you got to start all over. If it says, if, if you're like at a point where it's like, holy shit, this is not what I wanted at all. Ooh, Got to start all over, but you see, you're not really starting over because you're taking what you learned in that period and you're like, okay, well, let me try this again. Let me do this better. I'm not going to do this the same way, obviously. Maybe I'm going to try for the same things, but I'm going to take a different approach, right? But anytime that happens, you can totally see that as a tower moment, okay? This is not a bad thing. This is actually a very, very good thing, all right? So now... With that said, Spirit, what else do you have to say about this? What else do you have to say about this, Spirit? It's like we've been going through this five month, I think it was five months, this five month period of Saturn being in retrograde. Yep. In which we were learning a bunch of lessons. We were, we were clearing out a bunch of karma on there. We were purging out a bunch of, uh, uh, of icky shit, right? And now that Saturn is going direct. This, it went direct yesterday, the 18th. Now that it's going direct, we have a, a period of time to put everything into place, to put all of the things that we've learned, all the lessons that we've experienced, all of the, the purging that has, that has gone on. We have a, 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 it's like we have some time to fit everything into place so that we can see it clearly for what it is. And with that in mind or with that in view, then move forward from there. Yes? Okay. Beautiful energies here, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful energies. The Wheel of Fortune just flashed me, um, and I'm looking for, because it looked, it looked like something, yes, something did flip over, the Page of Cups. But while I was looking for that Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune showed itself, all right? Um, just ride the wave, you guys. That's all you really can do right now is just ride the wave. You have the Queen of Swords here. Ooh, whoa, I'm getting a really strong download. Um, it's in my left ear, and it's such a high-pitched ring <laughs> in my left ear right now that it, it was really short, and it was so high-pitched that it was almost inaudible. 
I felt it more than I heard it. Woo! That was intense. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords here. I mean, this is extreme discernment. This is like no... This is like no time for games, no time for, no time for discussion, no more chit chat. This ain't the king where we're taking time and we're hearing arguments, we're, we're going through the, we're rummaging through the evidence. Uh-uh, no. The queen knows enough. She's seen enough. And quite frankly, any more discussion about it would be a waste of time. So we're just going to make some cuts right here, right now. But you see, with Saturn having gone retrograde, you went through the process. That was five months of basically King of Swords energy. And now it's time to just make the freaking cuts. <laughs> okay? You're ready to do so. Four of Wands. All right? Three of Swords, Six of Cups, Five of Wands, Six of Wands. A lot of this purging has had to do with your childhood or the past. Also, it could have situations have to do with situations that uh, involving soulmates, uh, divine partnerships, twin flames, whatever you wanted to label it. Okay, um, and it was really conflicting. There actually may be some sort of conflicting, still some flick, conflicting energy here. But look at this, look at this progression from the Four of Wands to the Five of Wands, and now the victory with the Six of Wands. There may still be a little bit of confusion. There may still be a little bit of inner conflict here, but that's what you're still kind of trying to iron out. Okay. But there's that Six of Cups again. Six of Cups came out in the pre-shuffle. I mean, it's time to get to work, but it's not even really time to get to work. Does that make sense? It's like, oh, okay. Spirit just said, there's still, there's still a little bit of administrative work to do before you can really get the ball rolling. But the transit has happened. The shift has taken place, and now we can put all the pieces together in order to really start taking action. But with this seven of pentacles that has come out twice here, you guys. Well, did it come out three times? Was it in the pre-shuffle? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, you know where it was? It was in, um, there was some personal messages that came out before I started the collective messages. And the seven of pentacles came out for me. And also the devil came out for me with some other stuff. The star and strength. Was it strength? I don't remember. Anyway, um, but with the Seven of Pentacles that came out twice, now is the time to really make your assessment. Plan your next steps. And all you, all you, the only planning that you really need is to look at the past, where you've come, where you've been, what it is you want, and what you're being called to do. Get all of that in line. Get all of that in order. Wrap your mind around that. Cut out anything that stops you from doing that. And then allow the universe to start guiding you with what direction or what action to take. Okay, now is not necessarily the time to take action. You're still trying to put the pieces together. But you, now that Saturn has come out of retrograde, now that Saturn has gone direct, we're done with the training, we're done with the learning, we're done with the lessons. Somebody posted in the comments yesterday or yesterday's reading about how um, um, final exams came early. I, I read that comment and I, I enjoyed that comment so much. I didn't respond. I should, I should go back and respond, but that comment was so damn funny. Like, and it, it's, it made so much sense. It's like exams came early and now, you know, grades are, be, are coming in. And you are absolutely right. Your grades are coming in. And it's not like, um, well, yeah. Your grades are coming in. Seven of Pentacles, twice. That is that energy. And so now it's an assessment. Okay, with what you've, with, with, with what you went through, what you experienced, and, and how you've grown in this last retrograde period, now we're putting the pieces together to see where to place you for your next round of, of experience. 
it almost is this kind of feels like ooh, oh good god sorry that was my i got really excited and i just like threw my clear quartz hold on a second guys ha 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 it's not y'all i have dropped this thing so many times it is so mangled I'm sorry, Crystal. I didn't mean to throw you like that. Anyway, um, shoot. Where was I? Oh, this feels like this energy. Now that I think about it this way, this feels like kind of a combination between final exams and also uh, a placement exam. Right? Like final exams, going through whatever you learn, but then also an exam to see, okay, where are we going to put you next? Where do you go next? And right now, this feels like the energy of the period in which now we're discussing with, we'll say, our, our advisor, right? Judgment here. We're discussing with our advisor what our next steps are, where we want to go, what we want to experience, what we want to learn, what we have completed in the past, what we still need to complete moving forward, all that kind of stuff. That's a really cool energy. I'm wanting to go to the Wild Unknown Tarot or the Lenormand. Which one, guys? I reached for the Lenormand. I, I was hearing Lenormand, but then I reached and I put my hand on the Wild Unknown. Which one? Oh, gosh. Wild Unknown is better. Lenormand is going to confuse things. Okay. Let's get a closing message from the Tarot here. Um, okay, so we're moving back into reading the energies around you. The Golden Universal Tarot was, was straight messages from spirit. Now just to assess the energies surrounding you one last time, we're going to use the Wild Unknown, and then we're going to close the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? All right. One last shuffle here. And let's see what we've got. What you need to know about these energies moving forward is basically what we're getting here. We may have to do a few passes on this. So sit tight, kids. I'm going to be shuffling for a second. Closing guidance here. What do you need to know? surrounding these energies. Uh, there is a need for some clarity moving forward. Of course, we do have this Two of Swords here, okay? So this is what we're gonna try. Ooh, ooh, chow. Look at what is underneath the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Ha ha ha, that's so cool. King and Queen of Swords, okay. Um, so, as far as these energies go, oh, okay, what kind of, cuts to make okay with this queen of swords energy because you see the king of swords back is turned so his time is done all right he's done his work he's done his job it's the queen's turn time it's, <laughs> it's the queen's turn time it's the queen's turn now all right so with this queen of swords energy and given these energies surrounding you what needs to be cut out the burdens y'all look at that the ten of the ten of swords oh i thought that was the ten of wands the ten of swords with the five of pentacles. Overall energy, ooh, the two of pentacles. Okay. Okay. The two of pentacles again. <coughs> ooh, excuse me. Check it out, guys. And keep in mind, this is still a message from spirit, but they, they had me Instead of, instead of them speaking it themselves through the Golden Universal Tarot, they had me dive into the surrounding energies for you guys to pick out what it is you need to focus on releasing. The pain and the heartbreak from the past and the feelings of unworthiness. Ten of Swords in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Y'all, let me tell you, I am all up in that. Like, I am right there with you. That's kind of I've been something that I've been working on lately. Like really releasing because I feel like I've kind of been stuck in this Ten of Swords energy, even though the worst is in fact behind me. 
all right? Um, specifically speaking, a lot of the past of the last two years and the, like, the journey that I've been on and all the humiliation and the heartbreak that's come from it, it's been over. Like, we're coming up on a year anniversary of the fact uh, uh, of being away from all of that energy. Like, whoa, it'll be, it'll be a year in November, okay, that I will have officially been out of and away from those energies. And yet, I'm, it's still affecting me. It's still bothering me. And it's really all around the feelings of unworthiness, um, not good enough, not being enough, not having enough, not doing enough, uh, what not, whatever. That has kept me, personally speaking, in this energy. And it, what it really is going to take is... When those feelings surface, when that energy comes up, just, I mean, like, yeah, feel through it, recognize it for what it is, see it for what it is, and then don't even argue, don't even, like, don't even, don't even wrestle with it. Just fucking cut it out. Like, stop your mind. Change your focus. Queen of Swords. The Two of Pentacles energy here is talking about bringing balance. It's also talking about time and patience. You don't have to rush this. This is a delicate transformation. I mean, look at that. Look, 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 look at the, the butterfly on that, right? This is a delicate process. This is not something that needs to be rushed. You have the time to deal with it, but it's time to fucking do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, awesome. So let's close out the reading now with our Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Like, don't allow yourself to sit in this Ten of Swords energy anymore. If it's done, it's done. Release it. The past is done. Move forward. If you need to forgive, forgive. Like, but, but, I mean, I'm, I'm all right, this is a message that's coming through. Um, and again, this is also something that I've resonated with. But if you're having trouble forgiving or if you're refusing to forgive someone or some a circumstance, whatnot, whatever, a group of people, whatever, you're only holding yourself in this energy. Forgiving, forgiving doesn't mean that they've gotten away with something. Forgiving doesn't mean that they're off the hook. I mean... It, as far as karma goes, like if what, depending on what the situation does, if it was really that bad, they're going to get theirs. Like what goes around comes around, guys. You don't have to worry about that. Let the universe handle that. But forgiving is more for yourself than it is for them because the, the, the less you forgive, the more you sit in that energy and not forgive, you build resentment, you, you allow yourself to be angry, to feel betrayed or whatnot for too long, you are actively keeping yourself in that Ten of Swords energy. Some of you even feel like you're not even worthy of forgiveness. But look, people make mistakes. And if you hadn't made the mistakes, you wouldn't have had the lesson to learn from to begin with. So look at it that way. Instead of beating yourself up about it, like look at the fact that you actually learned Look at what you've learned here. Look at how the cir cir circumstance or the situation has changed you for the better, potentially, right? How it could have, what the, 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 the opportunity it has put, uh, words, <laughs> the opportunity you have in front of you to change for the better. Forgive and let go. Okay, closing message here, please. Oracle guidance for the collective for today. Oracle guidance, please, spirit, for the collective for today. Two. Oh my God. Yes, two. Look at this. We have an 11-11, you guys. We have an 11-11. We have card number 29, which boils down to an 11. Ascended Master Kuan Yin and Pearl, Divine Rebel. 
And then we also have card number 11 itself, Archangel Gabriel and Turquoise, safe to be seen. I'm going to read both of these. We're going to start with card 11. And it is 929. 2 and 9 boil down to an 11. That is a 911 right there. Wow. Okay. Well, make your wishes, guys. Keep your head, keep your thoughts balanced. Make sure you keep them in check. Safe to be seen. We bring you the gift of safety in being seen. Over lifetimes you have loved the earth, returning again and again to serve humanity, liberate the human soul from fear, and spread a message of love. You have spoken truths, shared messages, and inspired many. Yet in your visibility, sometimes you have felt misunderstood and vulnerable. You have been admired and loved, but at times also feared and attacked for the empowering message you brought to the world. In you, there is a memory of this, and although you wish to share your light with the world again, there are times when the thought of being seen doesn't feel safe. We are here to let you know that you are protected in divine grace. It is safe to open up to your inner knowledge and to share your message with the world. The light in you is stronger than fear. It is time to shine fearless and bright. I love it, 444. I love it. Oh my God. Now we have card number 29 which is also 11, and it says Divine Rebel. We bring you the blessing of, divine Re of the Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up, create a divine disturbance, and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. They know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the divine. It will have its way in the world, in the hearts of all living beings. It will not be tamed, controlled, restricted, or denied. If there is a way, so the, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. If there is a rule that gets in the way of that love, then the divine rebel will find another way, so that love can have its way. The divine rebel in you is not meant to do things the way others say you should. Some people may become frustrated with you because they won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected by those who are ready to make love more important than fear and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing the world. I mean, those two messages go hand in hand. I'm so glad they came out. All right, kids. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastical day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Bye.